Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the new lecture on medicinal chemistry. I am Faraz Kurban Rajpar and in this lecture I will discuss with you about the metabolism of hydrocortisone and therapeutic uses of glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. Now let's have a look at the outlines of this lecture. At the end of this lecture, you will be able to learn about the metabolism of hydrocortisone in which you will become familiar with the different type of metabolites which are formed by the metabolism of hydrocortisone. Next, you will also learn about the therapeutic uses of glucocorticoids and mineralocorticoids. At the end of this lecture, I have compiled some simple short questions from this lecture for your self-assessment. You may also post your answers of these questions and you may also ask the questions related with this lecture in the comment section box. So now let's start this lecture. Metabolism of hydrocortisone. Hydrocortisone and cortisone are the two main glucocorticoid which are endogenously synthesized. As we have already discussed, studied their structure in detail, that they both differentiate from one another at the carbon number 11 position. In case of cortisone, we have a ketone group present at the 11th position. But in case of hydrocortisone, a hydroxy group is present. So, Basically, these both cortisone and hydrocortisone are enzymatically interconvertible into one another. So, one may find the metabolites with both 11 keto and 11 hydroxyl functionality. We have already discussed their structure in detail in the topic of structural activity relationship of glucocorticoids. So, whenever the Metabolism of hydrocortisone takes place. Basically, it involves inside the liver. Liver play a major role in the metabolism of hydrocortisone because of involvement of the enzymes. And the metabolites which are formed by the metabolism of hydrocortisone are usually excreted out in the urine. So now let's look at the steps or the type of reactions or changes that are taking place in the structure of hydrocortisone during metabolism. So after metabolism, basically the various type of metabolites are formed. But the main metabolites of the hydrocortisone metabolism are the tetrahydrocortisone and tetrahydrocortisone and cortisol. So these are the structure of the main primary metabolites of hydrocortisone. Basically what is happening in, during the metabolism, the carbon-carbon double bond at the position 4 and 5 undergo the reduction. And beside this, the ketone group which is present at the third number carbon in the hydrocortisone also undergo through the reduction and is now converted into the alcohol and reduction of 20 ketone group also takes place and converted into the alcohol. So over here you may see that in the tetrahydrocortisol structure and tetrahydrocortisone structure there is no any ketone group at third position but it was as the hydroxyl group or alcohol group and beside this there is no any double bond at the position of carbon-carbon dub 4 and 5 this is occurring because of the metabolism because during metabolism the hydrocortisone undergo through the reduction so these are the two main metabolites which are formed during the metabolism of hydrocortisone as a result of reduction at various sites Therapeutic uses of glucocorticoid and mineralocorticoid. 
Mendelocorticoids are only used for the treatment of Addison disease. Addison disease is basically a condition in which our body cannot produce enough of corticosteroid hormone. It can be caused by the chronic adrenocortical insufficiency or may be due to either adrenal or anterior pituitary failure. So basically what happens in Addison's disease, our body cannot produce enough of these type of hormone. So the main causes for the Addison's disease are the chronic adrenocortical insufficiency and it can be a chronic cause efficiency of adrenal cortex region is decreased to release or synthesize this type of hormone which type of corticosteroids or it can be either due to the decrease in capability of adrenal gland or anterior pituitary to give stimuli and for the synthesis of the corticosteroid the symptoms occur during the Addison's disease are increased loss of sodium and decreases the potassium due to which fluctuation occur in the blood pressure and hypotension occurs hypoglycemia occurs and sensitivity toward insulin and decrease the lipolysis the glucocorticoids are extensively used for the different type of inflammatory conditions their route of administration can be they can be used topically orally and parentally depending upon the type of glucocorticoid and they are used to combat the inflammatory condition means they produces the anti-inflammatory actions and they have also anti-allergic action besides this some of glucocorticoids are also used to treat the asthmatic symptoms like butisonide and fluticasone one more important thing that the in Addison's disease, mindalocorticoid which is used is the fludrocortisone acetate because fludrocortisone acetate is the only commercially available mindalocorticoid and we have already discussed its structure and synthesis in the lecture of SAR topic. The detailed role or other biological action of cortisol will be discussed in the upcoming lecture. Now let's have a quiz. So these are some simple basic questions from this lecture. You may post your answer in the comment section. Number one, what is the primary organ for the metabolism of hydrocortisone and by which route their metabolites are being excreted. Number two, name the two metabolites of hydrocortisone. Number three, at which site in the chemical structure reduction reaction occur in the metabolism of hydrocortisone. Number four, what are the symptoms of Addison's disease? So this is all about this lecture. If you have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much. Allah bless you all.